Hey, this seems like a Enough. good time to go. We will continue later. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. The ground looks weak down here, Father. That gear. Looks like it would freeze. Maybe that lift can help us get higher. Might be easier to break that ground from up there. the ground from up there? Ha <laughs> ha 
We're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Or they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. What? 
So that's the voice I heard. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but... We'll need to free it from its restraints. Thanks for grabbing that for us. What is this? A Lungbokka. I captured it many years ago. For Odin? Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. Too. If you could. <sighs> easy, easy. That creature's hurting. But we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. Now for the other thing. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. with me, aren't you, brother? I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. <laughs> Learn anything?
More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Kvasir. Fat was a good source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns? Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. was hiding some sort of device. There's a dock down there, but it looks like it's blocked. that dock can lead us to the tail. Let's get back to the boat. You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made? No.
I'd thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. Good. We can reach the tail from this dock. You would still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue.
machined as well. Sliding down that rope should take us where we need to go. I don't think we can do anything with that yet. Encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face to face, brother? Creature. The mining rigs. They're mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. Blubbering beast! Shoot! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But... No. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off and scare it! Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. likes the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband. And Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. Can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. Ah, but enough of that for now.
Now that's a big statue. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. So we're going to Durland's? Makes sense. We could always explore those mining rigs later. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Who to collect on something, pal? Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is going to scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <gasps> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think.
Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. It's here! Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight.
This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. We can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. <gasps> Hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Darling, he didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. A true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. special equipment to use this. I don't think this is working, brother. Maybe we should come back. A bomb. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Bari, the dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if... A oh, drone! No, no! <laughs> Thank you. 
Drekius were killed the first one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there, I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. We're gods. Better gods. We're trying to stop Ragnarok, to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus, 